Hello ladies, um, today I'm going to teach you something that I feel is extremely important, especially to a redhead, um, and this is how to get perfect brows, eyebrows, um, yeah, little eyebrows, those things, little caterpillars up there. Um, anyway, this is extremely important to me because I believe that, one, your eyebrows should never be too light, I haven't put anything on mine yet. I'm going to teach y'all how to do it, but um, your eyebrows should never be too light because it doesn't frame your eye makeup, um, and they should never show up before the rest of your face, if you know what I mean. Like, if you're looking at someone and all you see is their eyebrows, you got a problem. But anyway, um, I am going to teach you the two perfect steps to maintaining and getting absolute perfect brows. Okay? And let's go ahead and get started. All right, so step one is definitely the shape of your brows. What I use to shape my brows, I do not pluck my eyebrows because I get ingrown hairs really easily around here and they make little pimples and it's just not attractive. So what I've opted for is this little eyebrow shaver right here. Um, I got mine from the drugstore, looks like this. It comes with a pack of three, and I believe it's $3.99. Now, what I'm going to direct you to do first is if you want to tweeze, that is perfectly fine. Tweeze, that is fine. I just can't do it because my little, my um, skin's really sensitive, so I do this instead. Um, the first thing you want to do is find where your eyebrows should start, where they should end, and where your art should be. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the end or a brush or something, um, something just to point, and you're going to go into the middle of your nostril right here, all the way up, and that is where your eyebrow should start. Now with me, I'm lacking a little in that department, but I do have like these little strays, so I just like little shave them a little bit off. I'm sorry, I have to look over here to see myself. And it doesn't hurt, it just kind of feels like you're shaving your face. <laughs> so I have strays in the middle. And don't be worried if it gets a little red, just make sure you put um, a little bit of moisturizer on afterwards. So after you've got that done, that's where your eyebrow should start. Now you're going to take the edge of your eyebrow and go across to the edge of your eye and up. And that is where your eyebrow supposedly should end. As you see, I'm also lacking a little bit in that department. So that's fine. I'm not going to do anything back there. I'm not going to tweeze. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to fill my eyebrows. Now, what you should do, okay, let me see if I can do this. The middle, if you look straight, the middle of your pupil up, that should be the highest part of your arch. So mine's already kind of like that. I keep my eyebrows pretty well maintained, um, but up, that should be the highest point of your arch, and that's where mine is. So that is where how you're going to pluck your eyebrows. A great trick to doing this is taking a eyeliner that's easily washed off like this one. This one's just, uh, I don't even know that's rubbed off. So what I usually use is a little twist up eyeliner. And do that with your eyeliner, like this. And draw a line, okay? And then do it over here, and draw a line, okay? And then go to the middle, and make a little tiny line underneath. And that'll be kind of your guideline with what, what fits your eye to make your brows perfect. Now, um, the next part two, uh, part dos, oh, too close. I'm going to go out a little. Oh, hang on. Okay, so now the second part, now that we've got our eyebrows shaped and everything, the second part is defining your brows. Now this can be an extremely tricky step for redheads because we 
honestly, I have never found something that matches what my eyebrows should exactly look like. And that should be, um, it just depends on what you're going for. It should be a little bit darker than, um, or no, just a little bit lighter than your hair shade or more dramatic if you'd like it a little bit darker than your hair shade. It just, it depends on your preferences and what you like. So, I have found something at Ulta and um, it's the closest that I can find something that works for pretty much every single color of red hair because it has two shades and it is the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder and this is in Auburn Red. Now it just opens up like this. It's got a little brow wand like that. Tiny little one. Um, it's got a little coarse brush like this. It has got a brow gel and a darker and lighter cake powder. Now with this what you're going to do is um, take the brow gel and put it on your eyebrows first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use actually use a different brush because I feel like that's just necessary for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little smudge brush. It's Face Secret Smudge Brush from um, Sally Beauty Supply. And I'm going to take my brow gel. Just put a little, this is important to have your brow powder stick all day long. Now, I had a mirror back there to make sure I was staying in frame, but now I need to move it on up so I can make sure that I'm doing this right. You're just going to smooth this across your eyebrow. And make sure you can go ahead and you know, find your points where you need to be filling. And go ahead and do that. I didn't have anything on my brows before I did this, guys, so that's why I'm going to go ahead and do both. Alright, the next thing I'm going to get is the lighter shade. You can see that. Um, it's kind of a brownish auburn color. Since I'm not doing anything really dramatic today, I'm just doing daytime makeup, um, I'm not going to really put all that much on, but I'm just stamping this little brush in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the bottom towards the back and work my way forward. And I'm going to kind of feather it out since I was lacking in the tail department of my eyebrow. And I'm just going to kind of blend this through. So this is very light and very natural looking. That is what my brow look like, looks like afterwards. And then if you feel like you need a little bit darker, just go into the little darker color. But you want the concentration of your color not to be in the front, not to be in the very back, but to kind of be in the middle, um, just to give you more of that natural look. All right. And then I'm going to take my little brow wand and comb it through just so it looks very natural and not overdone. So there is one eyebrow. Let me go ahead and do the other one. Now this one tends not to grow quite as much as the other one, and I don't know why. It just doesn't. It tends to be more sparse than the other eyebrow. I don't know if I've over-tweezed or something when I used to tweeze because I used to before I found those little things and I would just break out for days and days and days.
Okay, I'm going to take a tiny little bit of the darker color and just focus that in the bottom and the middle and brush it towards the front. All right, I'm going to put all my stuff away. Go ahead and throw this in my container. And now that brow gel, oh, I forgot to brush my brows. They're going to look uneven. Um, that brow gel is going to, or the, it's not gel, it's brow wax. Um, wax, sorry, I meant to say gel. Or I meant, okay, well, I just can't get anything right today, but I meant to say wax. It's brow wax, not brow gel. Um, if you want to set your brow powder, you can use a clear, oh my gosh, I probably was not in frame for that whole thing. I hope I was. Anyway, um, you can set your um, brow powder with the clear mascara um, and brow gel. That is, you can just find that. I think Great Lash has a really good one, and um, that'll just set it. But I don't usually have a problem with it coming off. But anyway, as you can see, I'm going to sit back a little. Now you can see they're a lot darker, a lot more dramatic, but I think it really frames my face better. So, and I hope you guys like this video. I hope this really helped you. It took me forever to find something that really worked with my hair color and my skin tone and really stayed on and was a good product. And the next product is around six dollars so it's not a hugely expensive thing and I know that Benefit they don't have a red one the Anastasia powders don't have a red one um, eyeslipsface.com they don't have a red one you know I'm, I just have a hard time and this one finally I found this I just picked it up at Ulta it was about six dollars and um, I hope this helps you guys I hope that you like this tutorial and please let me know if this helped you and if you pick it up and tell me how you like it. Okay, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.